Welcome to Electron Online. Solving a quadratic equation means take an equation like this, which is y equals x squared minus 8x plus 12, and find the places on the xy graph where the graph representing this equation crosses the x-axis. That's what we mean by solving a quadratic equation. It means solving for the roots. And the way to do that, since we're looking for the points where it crosses the x-axis, that is where y will be equal to 0. Therefore, to solve the equation, we're going to set y equal to 0 and then solve the equation. So, set y equal to 0, and then we get 0 is equal to x squared minus 8x plus 12. And then when we look for the values of x that make this equation true, we find the places where the graph crosses the x-axis. That's what we mean by solving the quadratic equation. We can do that via factoring. So, we're going to factor the right side. 0 is then going to be equal to the product of two binomials. So first, to get the x squared, we need an x here and we need an x there because x times x gives us an x squared. And then to get the signs correct, notice that this is a negative and that's a positive, which means the only way to get a negative here and a positive there is for both of these numbers to be negative because when you multiply a negative times a negative, you get a positive, and when you add them together, you get a negative. So the signs must be negative and negative. And now we're looking for two numbers such that when you multiply them together, you get 12, and when you add them together, you get negative 8. And negative 2 and negative 6 would do the trick. Negative 2 and negative 6. So negative 2 times negative 6 is a positive 12, and a negative 2 plus a negative 6 is a negative 8. So that would now allow us to find x. So now we can say that 0 is equal to this, times this, the product of these two binomials. Well, for a product to be equal to zero, one or the other must equal zero. That means that x minus two is equal to zero, or that x minus six is equal to zero. Either one of these will allow the product to be equal to zero. That means that in this case, x must be equal to two, or in this case, x must be equal to six. And these end up being the two locations on the xy axis or on the xy graph where it crosses the graph that represents that equation, crosses the x axis. So let's find the numbers. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So we know that the graph crosses at x equals 2 and it crosses again at x equals 6. Since the number in front of the x squared term is positive, we know that the parabola opens upward, so the graph will look something like this. And these are the solutions. The solutions are the points where the parabola crosses the x-axis at x equals 2 and x equals 6. And that's what we mean by solving a quadratic equation.